Technation has been acquired by the Founders Forum Group. This is an important development. Let's have a look at the implications for endorsements under the uh, Global Talent Visa. Now, I'll go, th I'll go through the, what they're saying, but basically I have had since the end of last month, I have had two uh, clients endorsed so far. Uh, in other words, uh, after Technation sort of shed, it, shed its st staff, if you like. Um, so after the 31st of March. So that's endorsed two endorsements in the month of, of April. But I have seen that there's been a, a change. It seems that they've changed the, the panel of decision makers. So it seems that they're effectively outsourcing. I mean, there's an element of speculation on my part, but out outsourcing the endorsement process. And I have had a couple of people come to me with uh, refusals after the end of March. So in this new period where I haven't necessarily be, you know, been involved in the application, they're coming to me for, for the first time uh, with the refusal. And the language in there, it, it definitely seems to be different uh, uh, different decision makers and uh, the, the uh, one decision in particular was very odd but both of them seem to be uh, different if I can put it from the rationale that they used in uh, refusals historically so you get this uh, pro forma and yeah sometimes people come to me again for the first time uh, with a refusal where I haven't worked with them before and I you know have this uh, fairly unique insight if, if you like I've seen you know dozens of of different pro formers in that in that connection and I've seen the language and the rationale that they use and so I believe that there, there, there are different decision makers now so all of the you know the technician guidance is highly discretionary so if they if they want to grant you know your application they will find a reason to do so if they if they don't then they will find a reason not to and because it's so highly discretionary um, it's important, yeah, it's important to, to pitch it right. Um, so let's just focus on exactly what's happened. So it says, after, after a, a decade as a government-backed organization serving the UK scale-up tech ecosystem, we're today announcing that Tech Nation has been acquired by Founders Forum Group, a global community and group of businesses um, supporting entrepreneurs at every stage of their journeys. The transfer will see FF Group continue to execute against Tech Nation's mission to empower tech entrepreneurs, scale innovative startups, and provide a united platform for UK tech founders. And will relaunch a number of Tech Nation programs. Um, tech Nation under the uh, FF Group umbrella, let me just highlight this, will continue to uh, process the Global Talent Visa for the Home Office and applicants can continue to apply as normal with applications in process unaffected while the Home Office identifies a new endorsing body to take over from Technation. So in other words, this is an interim step. I mean, one of the potential outcomes here could be that, you know, the, the Founders Forum Group is itself selected uh, to, be, uh, to be the new endorsing body. Um, in other words, the technician would uh, continue under this under this new guise. Uh, difficult, to, in fact, to see who the other candidates to be an endorsing body would be under you know, un under this program, under the Global Talent Program. Uh, now, it would be good though. It would be good to see if it could, could continue in its current form. In other words, that there's no. Uh, you know, no payment, you know, in other words, that people are judged exclusively on their merits. That's the nice, it's been the nice thing about uh, the Global Talent Visa. Uh, people are judged on their merits. It's not connected with any payments that you make, you know, for a program and so on. So the the difference between the uh, between this program and uh, the the innovator, now innovator founder visa, is that you, you this has been the case for, for, for a long time, you make your stage one application to Tech Nation via the government. So you notify the government that you're making the application, then you make the application, and then the, the government is informed of what the outcome is. Whereas under the old Innovator Visa, you could make you know multiple uh, endorsement applications and the government had no 
oversight over that. So you could be refu refused multiple times and they would not be on your, on your record at all. Um, but the, the key thing is that apart from the, the payment for the stage one fee, which is pretty notional, there's no charges. Also, if you accept it onto the visa, uh, onto the Global Talent Visa, there's no charges on an ongoing basis. Now with the Innovator Founder Visa, again, there's prescribed charges now. So they're just charging for making the decisions, which puts them onto a similar footing to Tech Nation, but they haven't implemented it in the, through this same mechanism as uh, the, in the form that I've described. And also it appears that some, not all bodies, are still uh, under the Innovator Founder Visa, are, are still uh, operating this sort of old uh, approach where there is a, a paid program of some form a recommended, um, it appears mandatory in some cases, but I don't know if that's going to change very soon. It might be, uh, or probably is inconsistent with the approach, the approach taken by the government. But, uh, but, 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 but essentially, it's still, it's, it's still in that in that transition transition phase. Whereas with Tech Nation, yeah, it's untainted by all of those sort of fee type considerations, and people should be considered on their merits. And I hope that. That doesn't change both under the Founders Forum group. They're saying that it will continue unaffected. So they're not changing that. There's no paid program. And I hope that when the Home Office chooses a new body, that it's not operated in a way, uh, in a way other than one where the, the merits are assessed and that there's no sort of it's not linked to any kind of paid program. Um, so, so yeah, I've, I mean, I've had um, many, many clients now who've gone, gone through successfully under the Global uh, Talent Visa, especially especially this year. Um, I love working with people who are applying under this route, usually, you know, very impressive people with great uh, tech profiles and, you know, both younger and, and older people at different stages of their career, because, of course, you've got the promise route and the talent route. So yeah, got lots of experience out applying onto the street. So if you, if you do want to get in, in contact with me, you can get me on my consultation service just uh, linked below. I'd be very pleased to help you. Best of luck in your application. Bye for now.